All right. What we have here is our Volvo. The T6. And that means it is a uh, turbo six in here. I like the blue that Volvo used on this car. Really is a beautiful color. Nice deep dark blue. And when you combine that blue with the uh, camel style interior, it's a beige color, which can get on the other side. It really uh, is a nice, tasteful color combination. This is the first Volvo that I've driven, and uh, found it to be a really comfortable car. Thank you, got it. And quickly understood why people like these. These seats are just, they feel more like a seat that you would have at home than in a car. With slightly more support, but very comfortable. You can see down here with the uh, air conditioning, you can really adjust it to uh, each section of your body, as well as the dual climate control for the uh, passenger and the driver. If you're like my wife and I, she's always cold and I'm always hot. It does have a uh, onboard system you can activate with Volvo for uh, um, you know, calling uh, in case you're stranded or that type of thing for help. The stereo I'm really impressed with. And I'm using the steering wheel controls there. And what I'm pointing out there is actually a center speaker. And uh, they use ProLogic sound in here, which really uh, brings a lot to the sound quality when you're in the vehicle. And I'll tell you what, in California, a lot of us wind up on the freeway in traffic more often than we would like. So it's kind of nice to have the additional comfort features in here and performance. Does have cruise control, sunroof up here. Garage door opener. Nice wood trim down the center here. And actually it has kind of a nice warning system. And you can see I need the, the headlight actually just went out on this, which is funny. So I can give you a good uh, example of this and I will have this fixed. But if I touch read here, one message. <laughs> can show you the uh, miles per gallon, instant and average, and all that stuff. And it's showing you that the uh, On Call Plus was deactivated. That's that phone I was telling you about. And I actually hit this reset button when it told me that the headlight um, went out. And that's why it's not showing up there anymore. So don't confuse the little light that comes on here with the tire low light. This is actually a, uh, a light that will uh, warn you of any, or multiple issues I should say, that may happen with the uh, vehicle. Uh, something else it does have is the uh, seat heaters. They work really well. Kind of nice in the morning. Actually it was really nice. I woke up last week and it was cold enough where I wanted to use them with my daughter bringing her to school and we enjoyed that option. Because we just, uh, whenever we condition our vehicles, I try and drive them for about a week or so because used cars can be finicky and we have great people working on them. But if you don't drive them enough to really sample, what can happen is we sell them and issues start coming up on our customers and I want to avoid that whenever possible for you guys. I understand uh, time is valuable for most people and you don't want to be spending additional time in a shop that you wouldn't need. The drive is really nice, just comfortable. You don't feel uh, bumps in the road unless you hit something really large. The 
cabin is quiet. And they have a nice filtration system in here for the uh, air filtration. And so it really creates a pleasant environment when you're driving and uh, it's normal for that system to run after you uh, turn it off. Um, it cleans the air. And um, creates like a nice dust-free environment in here. And of course, Volvo is well known for their safety. And you just feel safe in the car. It's hard to explain. It's just a, a different feel than you get in some other automobiles. Not that other ones feel unsafe. But the, there's just something about this car, the way that you sit in it. And um, the way you don't really hear rattles and, and that type of thing. That it just feels solid. And uh, if you haven't driven a Volvo, I'd recommend to come in and drive this just to get a feel for what they're like. And I'm going to go to a dead stop here and show you um, just how quick they are. And it does have manual mode as well. You can sh shift it down the manual, or over the manual, I should say. And up there, you see it goes to one and two, so you'd be able to shift right through the gears here in manual mode. And uh, wow, that thing really takes off when you hit the gas in first like that. But for the most part, I'm 40 now. So if I just keep it in drive, I'm pretty satisfied. But that engine really does cook on this thing. You move. And I did have the car detailed, but it does need a uh, a little bit of a cleanup. It got a little bit dusty. So uh, the car actually does shine up quite a bit nicer than what you're going to see here. When I get out and give you a last view at this, let me pop the hood for you. Ah. Mm. There it is. <laughs> and uh, as far as conditioning, we did have the transmission um, conditioned properly because uh, what happened with some of these vehicles was all this turbo on top of that um, transmission in here uh, was creating some problems at about this mileage, at about 80, 90,000 miles. And so, uh, Actually, Walter down the road here took very really good care of us on getting this transmission uh, dialed in for you. And if you're looking for a, uh, specifically if you're a Volvo fan, or you just want a sedan that performs and really is a joy to drive, I recommend coming in and sampling this one for yourself here at Streamline Auto.